if we sort of get to um, the first issue of, of cardiovascular risk, I, I think the first part is how do you deal with that with an individual patient? Um, in, in my practice, 100% of my patients with psoriasis get a verbal message that you have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease uh, because of your diagnosis uh, of psoriasis. Now, I, I am a, try to be a practical guy, but so, so I don't have a knee-jerk response that I get a, an LDL and, and a, um, lipid studies on every single patient, but almost every patient. In fact, um, one of the quality measures in our region for uh, being affiliated with Cleveland Clinic, a quality measure for dermatology has been having that LDL uh, on the chart and counseling the patient about that. Uh, and, and I think that's not unreasonable. Uh, so there's big discussions about how we do that individually to the patient, talk about that. If in fact the patient is someone who seems to understand uh, that risk and is already working with a good primary care physician or a primary care physician that they trust, I'm comfortable with that, to be honest with you, um, whether or not I have it on the chart. But, but I mention it to everyone, so in, in, in terms of an action plan. I want to bring up one more point relative to um, cardiovascular risk factors uh, for patients with psoriasis, and that's making sure that primary care providers and cardiology specific providers are aware of this. So they can say, oh, I see you're being treated for psoriasis. I, I'm not sure this information on cardiovascular risk factors is getting back to the cardiologist uh, in, in terms of understanding how these things come together. And, and I, I think there are a couple of key points here, and, and that's that the er, what I consider early phase data, and other people will say this is established, but the early phase data is that these newer biologic drugs, systemic medications may very well help reduce their risk. And, and so especially for someone who might be on the fence about getting on the medication, maybe there are cost issues, maybe there are just other reasons why they don't want to um, have an injectable drug on their palate. That primary care physician or cardiologist might say, you know, you've got this risk factor with psoriasis, plus you've got a family history of heart disease, plus you're not exercising as much as you should uh, that this becomes part of a bigger conversation. So it, it's a reminder to me uh, that we're all in this together and, and we all want the right thing for patients and patients want the right things for themselves. So uh, that, that's how I would put that piece together, working together. Mm -hmm.